Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to build one of these oases using the Dune Desert landscape. Um, this is one of the example oases that the landscape comes with. There are a couple of them scattered over the, the entire desert. Um, we're going to build one like this from scratch. So um, let's have a look at the landscape itself from above. Let's actually make this a little faster. Eight. As you can see, here's the oasis. Um, there's this box around it, and that's the most important stuff that we're going to talk about. It's the procedural foliage volumes um, that will spawn all the different foliage, the rocks, and everything. So there's two ways to go about this. Either you can duplicate the ones that are already in the map, or you can create them from scratch. Um, for the sake of speed, I'm just going to duplicate them. So let's grab rocks one. We're going to grab bedrock one. And we want to grab oasis one. So those are the three volumes that we want to duplicate. So we go to edit, and then we say duplicate. And here we go. So let's move them a little bit off to the side. Okay, so let's grab all volumes that we're going to work with. And now we can actually pick any place in the map and then create another oasis. Let's have a look. Um, oh, this could be a nice spot. Let's move them over here. So the next thing we need for our little oasis is the water. Uh, you can also just duplicate once one of the water surfaces that's already set up. For example, this, these ones over here. So you pick that one. Should be your, yeah, that should be the large oasis. So you can. Oh, in the way, another way you can duplicate it is to uh, right click and then say, edit, duplicate. And we drag that one over here. Here we go. Change the scale to fit the area. Okay, move a little bit more. Something like that. Okay, and then we can take our procedural volumes again. That is bad rock four, the oasis, and then center it. Okay, so we have our initial setup. And then the next thing is we're gonna go into the landscape tools. Go up here, go into landscape, go to paint, and we wanna paint stone layer. Uh, you want to put that fall of the 0.5 and then maybe like 512 radius strength to one and then we will trace along the edges of all water something like that really quickly something like that and then we can actually um, hide the water and then the inside, we're just going to fill with dirt. So we can actually make this even bigger. Yeah. And then fill the inside with dirt. And to make it look a little bit more interesting, we're going to place a little bit of box back in like this. And then there's another layer you can use, which is the, the bedrock. Okay. 
That's it. Let's have a look at the area itself. Oh, nice sand dune coming up here. So. A little bit more here and then we can also uh, let's go back to the action mode use some of the rocks so let's drag some of them up here and then actually make them a lot bigger okay so let's unhide our water Show water surface again. So the next thing we want to do is to go back into landscape and then paint mode and oasis. Um, this one we probably want to set to a really sharp fall off. 256 is okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing and trace around our stone area. Okay, let's have a look at it. Mm -hmm. So this is a basic setup. As you can see, it's already spawning all the small foliage and now we just need to run the different volumes to spawn the rest. So let's go back to selection mode and then select our procedural foliage volumes, which would first be the rock three. Let's run that one. We simulate and it places a couple more rocks and we want the bedrock okay and the most important one we're gonna run now is the tree oasis which is gonna place all the different palm trees we simulate so here we go this is our oasis it's all based off of layers as you can see, it's, it's quite easy to set up. You just paint the different layers and everything else is automatic. And then, of course, you can go in here and then maybe there's some areas that are too dense or like, for example, like this doesn't have any trees at all. So maybe you want to spawn a couple of palms here. So you go back to landscape tools, go back to paint, you go to the oasis and then you start painting a little bit more of the uh, oasis dirt here, go back to selection mode, and then we're just gonna rerun our procedural volume. And we get a couple of trees that actually spawn here. So you can interactively keep working on this and just rerun the different volumes until you have something that you like. So yeah, that, that's it. It's, it's very basic and very streamlined setup. It, it's only a couple of steps to create your own oasis in this huge landscape. You can just pick any spot and just copy volumes, copy the water, move them over there, paint your different layers, run the volumes, and you have another oasis. So I hope that helped. And yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.